Boeing and Airbus don't want you to know this. Prepare to be shocked as we reveal the hidden truths behind the aviation industry. In this explosive investigation, we uncover secrets that Boeing and Airbus desperately want to keep under wraps. From hidden agendas to questionable practices, discover the dark side of commercial aviation that the industry doesn't want you to see. Hey there fellow passengers, welcome aboard this journey where we peel back the layers of the aviation industry. Ever feel like you're stuck on autopilot just going through the motions? You're not alone. Many of us have felt that way, especially when it comes to air travel. That's kind of how I feel about air travel these days. The excitement of flying has been replaced by a monotonous routine. We buckle up, we pay for overpriced snacks, we arrive. Eventually. It's a cycle we've all grown accustomed to, but have you ever wondered what's really happening behind the scenes? But behind the scenes of this multi-billion dollar industry, there's a whole lot that Boeing and Airbus, the big dogs of airplane manufacturing, would rather keep under wraps. These companies are the titans of the skies, but their operations are shrouded in secrecy. Think of it like this. You ever notice how those airline snacks are always crazy expensive? That's no accident. It's a calculated move to maximize profits, knowing you have limited options at 30,000 feet. They know you're trapped, just like they know you probably haven't given much thought to what really goes on behind the scenes in their world. The convenience of air travel often blinds us to the complexities and controversies lurking beneath the surface. Well, buckle up, buttercups, because today we're going on a little trip. A trip that will take us beyond the clouds and into the heart of the aviation industry. A trip to uncover the secrets these aviation giants don't want you to know. From the meticulous inspections to the hidden floors, there's a lot more than meets the eye. We'll be exploring the hidden costs, the hushed-up controversies, and the inconvenient truths they'd rather you didn't see. The financial maneuvers, the labor disputes, and the environmental impacts are just the tip of the iceberg. So sit back, relax, and try not to think about how much legroom you don't have, because things are about to get interesting. We're about to dive deep into the world of aviation, where every detail matters and every secret has a story. From the cockpit to the cabin, from the boardrooms to the runways, we'll uncover the truths that shape your flying experience. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare for takeoff, because this is going to be one enlightening journey. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for Sea of the Skies, always duking it out for market share. But here's the thing, is it really a competition if both sides are playing the same game? Think about it. Both companies offer similar planes with similar features at similar prices. They both spend millions lobbying governments for contracts and they both seem perfectly content with this status quo. It's like they've realized that instead of fighting tooth and nail, it's more profitable to just split the pie. Less competition, more money for them. But where does that leave us, the passengers, paying the price? Both literally and figuratively. We've all been there. The frantic rush through the airport, the anxiety of missing a flight, the constant checking of the time. It's a universal experience. You're running late for your flight, stressed, and just want to get on that plane. The only thing on your mind is making it to your destination on time. In those moments, you're not exactly thinking about the intricacies of aviation safety regulations or the environmental impact of your journey. The complexities of the aviation industry are far from your thoughts. You just want to. Get where you're going. The relief of finally sitting down, the anticipation of reaching your destination, that's all that matters. And you know what? Boeing and Airbus count on that. They bank on our focus being solely on our personal travel needs. They rely on our collective apathy, on our willingness to accept the status quo because it's easier than demanding better. It's a calculated strategy. They know most people won't question the safety of a plane or the ethics of their business practices. The majority of travelers are content to trust that everything is in order. It's like that old saying, out of sight, out of mind as long as the plane takes off and lands safely. The details are irrelevant to most. As long as we remain passive passengers, content with the illusion of choice and the convenience of air travel, they can continue to operate in the shadows. Our complacency allows them to maintain the status quo without scrutiny. But what if we started asking questions? What if we demanded transparency and accountability? The power to change the industry lies with us, the passengers. 
By becoming informed and proactive, we can push for better safety standards, more ethical business practices, and a more sustainable approach to air travel. It's time to steer ourselves towards acceptance, not of the status quo, but of our role in shaping the future of aviation. Together we can make a difference. Now, I'm not saying all planes are death traps, but the truth is, the aviation industry has a vested interest in downplaying safety concerns. Every accident, every incident, is a PR nightmare. It makes people nervous, and nervous people don't buy plane tickets. So what do they do? They often lobby for less stringent safety regulations, arguing that they're too costly or unnecessary. They downplay the severity of incidents, assuring us that everything is under control. They'd rather we focus on the convenience and excitement of air travel than the potential risks. But we, the flying public, deserve transparency. We deserve to know that our safety is the top priority, not just their bottom line. Flying high on profits, the price of innovation. Now, you might be thinking, but Revo now, don't these companies need to make money to innovate and develop new technologies? You'd be right. But here's the catch. At what cost? Boeing and Airbus often prioritize short-term profits over long-term innovation. They pour billions into lobbying efforts to secure government contracts instead of investing in sustainable technologies or improving passenger comfort. It's like they're content with giving us slightly updated versions of the same old planes year after year. Sure, they might have fancier entertainment systems or slightly bigger overhead bins, but where's the real innovation? Where are the affordable, eco-friendly and truly revolutionary advancements in air travel? the black box of environmental impact, what they don't want to unpack. Let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say the giant, gas-guzzling airplane in the sky. Air travel has become an integral part of our modern lives, connecting people and places like never before. But this convenience comes at a significant cost to our environment. We all know that air travel is a major contributor to carbon emissions. The contrails you see streaking across the sky are more than just picturesque lines. They are a visible reminder of the pollution being pumped into our atmosphere. And while Boeing and Airbus are quick to tout their commitment to sustainability, their actions often speak louder than words. They may showcase their latest eco-friendly initiatives, but the reality is far more complex. They'll highlight their investments in biofuels or more fuel-efficient engines, and these advancements are indeed steps in the right direction. However, the scale of the problem is enormous, and these measures alone are enough to offset the environmental damage caused by the aviation industry. But these efforts often feel like a drop in the ocean compared to the environmental impact of their core business. The deforestation and pollution linked to the production and operation of airplanes are staggering, and the industry's growth only exacerbates these issues. They're essentially trying to put a band-aid on a gaping wound. The superficial fixes they propose do little to address the root causes of the problem. What they don't want to admit is that truly sustainable air travel might require a complete overhaul of the industry, from the materials used in construction to the fuels that power the planes. This would mean rethinking everything from the ground up, from the way planes are designed to the way we think about travel itself. It would involve not just technological innovation, but also a cultural shift in how we perceive and prioritize air travel. And that's a conversation they're not quite ready to have. The aviation industry is deeply entrenched in its current practices, and any significant change would require a monumental effort and a willingness to confront some uncomfortable truths. Environmental activists have long been calling for more transparency and accountability from the aviation sector. They argue that without a genuine commitment to change, the industry's promises of sustainability are nothing more than greenwashing. The future of air travel could be bright if the industry embraces truly innovative green technologies. Solar-powered aircraft, electric planes and other groundbreaking advancements could revolutionize the way we fly. Ultimately, the goal is to ensure that future generations can enjoy a cleaner, healthier planet. This requires bold action and a willingness to rethink the status quo. It's time for a collective effort involving not just the aviation industry, but also governments, environmental organizations, and the public. Together, we can chart a course towards a more sustainable future for air travel. Emergency landing. The future of air travel. So where do we go from here? The future of air travel is at a crossroads. We can continue down the current path, accepting the status quo and the consequences that come with it. Or we can demand better.
We can hold Boeing and Airbus accountable for their actions, pushing them to prioritize safety, sustainability and innovation over profits. We can support the development of alternative, more environmentally friendly forms of transportation. The choice is ours, folks. We can be passive passengers, or we can be active participants in shaping the future of air travel. Buckle up. Time for takeoff. This isn't just about airplanes, folks. It's about holding powerful industries accountable. It's about demanding transparency and ethical practices. It's about making informed choices as consumers and citizens. So, the next time you're crammed into that economy seat, remember, you have a voice. Don't be afraid to use it. Question the status quo. Demand better. Because when it comes to the future of air travel, we're all in this together. Your thoughts are cleared for landing. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the secrets Boeing and Airbus? Don't want you to know. Have you ever experienced anything that supports or challenges the points we've discussed? Share your thoughts, experiences and conspiracy theories in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. Suggest our next destination future topics. We've only just scratched the surface of this massive industry. What other topics would you like us to investigate? Do you want to know more about the environmental impact of air travel? Are you curious about the future of airplane design? Or maybe you have a burning question about those mysterious airline fees. Let us know in the comments. We're always looking for new destinations to explore. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers and revolutionaries.